I'm Nicole Lee from Main Gadget here at the Research at Intel um, Showcase. I'm talking to you, Brian Murphy. Hello. Hi. Um, yeah, I, we have a project at Intel Labs China that I wanted to show you guys. Yes, this is the uh, Smart Homes um, DIY Programmable Home Service. So why don't you walk us through a quick demo? Uh, okay, I can try. Um, our, so the general idea of our project is that as uh, people have more and more smart devices in their home and things with, which actually have compute capability, um, the, the problem becomes actually controlling them and getting them to talk to each other in ways that the user wants. Uh, right now, people, people are very uh, experienced and tech-savvy, tech can program their devices and connect them together, but usually they, would, they might set it up in a way that's not what the typical user wants. And so we're trying to look at how we can create uh, composable devices that are more flexible so that we can view by the end user um, in order to uh, put things together the way they want them. So for example, uh, over here, we just have an, uh, a uh, sample device, uh, for example, a camera that is connected to a uh, sort of mi microcontroller. Um, these are actually research prototypes. We assume in the future everyone's going to have many such smart devices. Today people have mobile phones already um, that actually have increasing amount of compute in them. Uh, but here you have a music player maybe um, that is controlled by a computer. Uh, another one which is uh, watching a camera and is able to send this camera data actually off to a PC which is running some more uh, complicated uh, visual recognition algorithms. So, uh, so the, the camera will recognize the baby's behavior and then sort of you could program in the system to like, activate the music player, for example. Yes, yes. So, for example, a typical user might in the near future have a smart camera in their home. They might have a smart uh, music player that can play music on demand. Um, and they might say, well, can I uh, have a music play whenever the baby's crying, maybe, to soothe the baby. Um, but how to get that to happen is actually very challenging right now. So we're trying to, to uh, come up with a software framework to make it easier for people to do this. Actually, with two sides of it that we're interested in. One is the making it easier for programmers to actually provide software components to control devices. So we're using a, a portable and easy-to-use HTML5-based programming environment that programmers can create modules and then a, a, uh, we're exploring some graphical uh, programming interfaces uh, which can be used by end users to configure their devices and connect them together. So for example, in this, uh, uh, this editor which we're showing here, uh, a, a uh, user can select, say, a baby, uh, the baby camera module. Um, which, which a programmer must have, have written a program to control it before, but the user can uh, probably eventually download that and, and install it at home. And then they can choose to connect it to any of various devices, such as a, a uh, music player, or they could possibly even post a Twitter picture feed, um, depending on if, the, if they think the baby is smiling and looks good. Um, but each user will have their own needs as far as how to connect devices together. So the problem comes, how do you make it convenient for people to put these together. And so um, by having uh, interchangeable components with uh, clean interfaces, and then we can provide an editor which lets users uh, connect them together very simply. Like this, this editor we're using is based on a open source click script uh, mashup editor. Um, and uh, but in our case, we're actually, unlike a, a web mashup, uh, once, the device is con once a system is configured in this way, the devices talk to each other directly. So this is, editor is used to actually configure the system, but finally when the system is configured, it just runs by itself, which makes it possible to use it for uh, a more reliable th case, like the baby you know, monitor. You don't want it to, to uh, fail if the network shuts down or your DSL fails. So we have a, uh, just a sample picture of a baby crying. Okay, so you, you notice that when the picture was shown, when the baby looked like it was crying, then the uh, music started playing. And in another case, the baby may be awake and smiling, and then you could have play a story. So in, in this case, actually, in actuality, these small microcontrollers aren't uh, yet powerful enough to do the image recognition. So it's actually necessary to have these devices connected to a PC or a server, which can do the uh, appropriate image recognition.